Welcome back to Morning Drive. On Friday, a second member of the World Golf Hall of Fame class of 2021 was announced. Her name is Marion Hollins. In her short life, Marion was not only a champion golfer, but also an accomplished multi-sport athlete, an entrepreneur, and a strong influence behind the creation of masterpieces in American golf. She was the 1921 U.S. Women's Amateur Champion, a three-time Metropolitan Women's Amateur Champion. She was also the U.S. Captain for the inaugural Curtis Cup in 1932. And with Matt Adams and Jaime Diaz, and Jaime, you're on that selection committee for the World Golf Hall of Fame. The first name was, was Tiger Woods, announced the week of the players. Marion Hollins, Matt is going to talk about her playing accomplishments but at a time when things were not great with the U.S. economy, not too dissimilar from right now, uh, she was very influential, wasn't she? Absolutely. She was just such an entrepreneur and someone with great influence and great confidence in entering the man's world. And she really started uh, with her golf design uh, and lease and development of golf courses at the Women's National Golf Club in Long Island, Golf and Tennis Club in Long Island. Uh, that led to her really getting involved in and learning about architecture and design as she went to the British Isles and studied it. And then she started working for Samuel Morris at the Pebble Beach Company, and he was a, he assigned her Cypress Point to develop it. Uh, Seth Rayner was the original uh, architect, but at that time she uh, he passed away, and then she hired Alistair McKenzie. McKenzie, of course, she uh, worked tremendously at Cypress Point, developing that 16th hole with with her help. And then she went to Pasatiempo and. Mackenzie was her uh, just up the road in Santa Cruz, and Mackenzie was her architect there. And then she brought Bobby Jones and, and Mackenzie together at Pasatiempo, and that led, of course, to the work at Augusta National. Uh, the, the Augusta National part is interesting to me. If you read David Owen's book, which I think is the most comprehensive look at the inner workings and the historical uh, aspects to, to the club, it is pretty clear that uh, she was an important person in terms of her thoughts. Alistair McKenzie actually sent her, according to David Owen, to Augusta National while he was in California to consult with Bobby Jones and Clifford Roberts on many of the design features of the golf course. Now, Matt, let's get back to, to her having a platform was rooted in her playing accomplishments. What did she do exactly? Well, she reminds me a lot of Babe Zaharias, who I think is one of the greatest American athletes of all time. Uh, Marion was definitely a Renaissance person. She was a multiple sport athlete, accomplished in equestrian and sharpshooting and swimming and auto racing, believe it or not, back in the day, polo, tennis, and more. She reached the final of the 1920 U.S. Amateur in 1913 and only 20 years old. As you noted, she went on to win it eight years later. She was a very comparable player to the best of the best and obviously she was able to channel that into all these other accomplishments a very impressive and very worthy pick for the world golf hall of fame yeah and matt you know jaime's not gotten off to a great start picking winners on sundays but he picked a winner <laughs> uh, with the selection committee of marion hollands a reminder you can get content every single day on morning drive and golf central and starting monday morning on television morning drive at 9 a.m have a great sunday nice.